Well, folks, we spent £250 million so far in the transfer window. We've completely rebuilt the team. New tactic incoming. We need to stop this mid-table obscurity. It's time for Leamington, I don't know what that was, to hit the Champions League. As mentioned, we did a rebuild. The last few seasons, I mean, for, uh, in the context of Leamington Football Club, they've been fine. We finished seventh in the Premier League and qualified for the Conference League by doing it the following year. We finished 10th in the Premier League, but won the Conference League, which qualified us for the Europa League. Last season, we finished 11th in the Premier League and dropped out of the Europa League, I think in the quarterfinals. Uh, yeah, quarterfinal against Betis. So no Europe this year. A rebuild was needed. And this is what we did. We've gone out and we have spent some money. As you can see, it is our biggest summer spending we've ever done, slightly topping that first year we qualified for Europe, we started things off by heading north of the border to Moneybags Dundee United, taking Marcelo off of them, who is basically a carbon copy of Plamen Vaselinov, just a little bit older. We've now got two players who can basically do the same things, play up front and score loads of goals or cutting off the right-hand side and score loads of goals. So two options there. Our first wide player, lovely. While that was going on, uh, we also sold Ed Webb and Damien Fleming for a combined £18 million. It's also the most money we've ever brought in in a summer as well. We're not just spending for fun. We've sold over £100 million of a player this summer as well. Continuing the sales, Cadrich went for £32 million, Godwin for £3 million, Beefy for £25 million, uh, Aaron Jarvis has gone for £4.3 million, Mirth has gone to some imaginary club for £13.75, Owen Hopkinson, who we spent £30 million on last summer, has been moved on for 15 million and that money has been been reinvested. Ivan Vasquez is another winger. He's come in from Arsenal. Uh we also, if I can get the buttons right, come on, Kev, you know the buttons. You're really good at the, these buttons. These buttons are your speciality. We got Sona Demir, the first of several five-star potential 18-year-olds to come in. Um, he came in for 13 and a half million. Florentin Fontaine is another five-star potential 18-year-old who's come in and joined us just to make sure we keep the flow of homegrown players going. We brought another player in from Arsenal. We have basically been to Arsenal what Arsenal have been to Manchester City this summer in real life and we've brought in their fringe players but for us they're the greatest players who've ever played for the club. It's a wonderful thing. Antonio Moraes, a central midfielder in from Arsenal. Then we've got Remy Van Schaik who, look at his physicals! That is a physical man. Uh, to come in as our new starting centre-back. Uh, Killian is another winger slash striker to give us options coming in off the left-hand side. Um, and then we got Alan Raven raiding Dundee United again, who I think they're... I think they're... Uh, what's his name? Sugar Daddy. I think he's withdrawn because Dundee United have sold like £200 million of a player this summer. Um, but this guy is also from there. Look at his value immediately. He is our new right-back. And uh, then to finish things off, for now, Domingo Harrow can play anywhere across the back four. Um, we signed him because Manchester City and Paris Saint-Germain wanted him. We really didn't need another centre-back. It felt silly not to just take him off of them. The one other finishing piece of the puzzle, if we can get him, um, is this guy, Juan Luis Canas from Chelsea, who is a central midfielder who can also play on that left wing. And we're trying to bring him in as well, but he hasn't made it in before the first day of the new season. So... The team is revolutionised. It is completely different. Team cohesion hasn't fallen off a cliff, though, so that's good. Uh, Pablo Larios wants to leave and is out of contract at the end of the next... Uh, no, at the end of this season. So we have been offering him out, even though he's been arguably our best player since we've been in the Premier League. If he's not going to sign a new contract, then we're going to move him on, which is why we've signed new midfield players. Likewise, Fabio Rodriguez, he is going to become homegrown at club in the summer, uh, but... He's out of contract and won't sign a new one. So as far as I'm concerned, he's dead to me at this point. We don't think about him anymore. Um, so this is our new look tactic. It might seem very familiar to you. It's a tactic we've used before. It's very similar to the one we're using with Everton to great success in the network game. And uh, these are our boys that are going to take on Southampton today. First game back in the Premier League. First game of the new season. The media think we're going to finish mid-table. 
I think we're going to qualify for the Champions League. This team is a Champions League level team. Let's see just how good these boys are. Come on then. Let's have a little look at them, shall we? Just for clarification, I was talking to the Leamington players when I said chaps. Come on, football. There's Killian. Look, having a left winger slash striker called Killian can't be a bad thing, surely. Show me forward. And again. Oh. Oh. I'll level with you. I was expecting us to play like Keverton. First game playing the new system. I guess what I have to keep reminding myself is this is more than half the team are new players and we're playing a new system. So it's going to take us a little while to settle into this and end up as good as Keverton. Oh, and we are getting Juan Luis Canias. 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 What does the little wiggle mean? Who cares? We've got another player in. There's your posture check. Always making me check my posture. It's unacceptable. Just let me slouch, for goodness sake. I love slouching. I'll sit up straight when I want to. Don't make me sit up straight. Started the transfer window on the last stream saying how we wanted to get rid of all the little tippy-tappy attacking midfielders that we've got. And then we signed this guy. Five foot nine, little tippy-tappy central midfielder. We've gone full circle. Oh, we've got registration rooms. Oh, of course, we've got Simonovic as another striker. He's not registered. Oh, no, we've got registration problems. I've got a little bit carried away. Someone's had a birthday and ruined it for everybody, haven't they? Which one of these idiots has had a birthday? Who's 22 and ruined everything? Dolman, Juarez. See, we don't need Juarez. This might be my cue to get rid of him because we just don't need him. I think I unregister Juarez and put Simonovic in. I think we need Simonovic more as a striker. A proper striker. Let's do a football. Local derby o'clock. Look at them playing. They've got Tur up front. Back to nil Tur. Playing a 4-4-2 like a bunch of cavemen. Let's ruin them. Come on, Remy! Yeah! That would have been a thing of beauty. Oh, don't let them in now. Oh, look, you can see where we... we I thought we were just filling in the corners of the ground, but clearly we're rebuilding this end to get our extra 6,000 seats. That seems excessive. Would have made more sense just to fill in the corners. But no, we're completely rebuilding this end behind the goal, even though those corners are ripe for the refilling. Uh, I've got kidney stone trouble today, boys and girls. I might have to fetch a bottle of water in a minute. I love suffering from kidney stones as often as I do. Oh, very nearly a first goal for Marcelo. That would have been nice. So I sit with my arm like this to stretch my kidney out to try and get this stone moving. Mola, thank you very much for the sub. And Luca Dolman has scored after being robbed of the first goal. Apparently lemon juice is good as well. There you go, Marcelo has his first goal now. What was the drink I was having in my Twitter picture today? It was just an iced coffee from McDonald's. Like I say, though, luckily, they don't get like that very often. Marcelo's quite good, isn't he? Is that offside again? There's a lot of offsides today. Kidney stones are my worst nightmare. Agreed, they're mine too. And just in general, I think I suffer from narrow tubes. Apparently, the reason for my blood pressure is because my... Uh, certain parts of my blood tubes i don't know if it's veins or arteries or what um are narrower than they should be oh a 19 and a half million pound offer for larios that feels like the one we're accepting you can go to juventus he wants to go to juventus yeah i think that's the deal we're making it's going to be a shame to let him go but it's a profit and he doesn't want to be here and he's out of contract at the end of the season so I guess on that basis, we can keep Juarez. Not that we really need to, but none of these are particularly attractive offers either. Look at everyone who wants Sean Desart. I love a bit of Desart as well. So let's get him in. Come on, Sean. All the big clubs want him. Oh, I can't do my normal and Spurs joke because they're not there. Spoil things a little bit. Oh, don't sing, don't sing, don't sing. <laughs> oh, I've got, I'm concentrating so hard on not singing. 
This is ridiculous. I'm going to have to go and have a lie down after this. I've never had to concentrate so hard on anything. Just like doing my driving test again. Come on, Desert. Desert wants to be a, uh, a fridge player. I like it. No, you can't loan him back because we want him to become homegrown. Board won't let me sell Juarez. Brilliant. I agree I would like a bit more, but that's how you feel then. Fair enough. I mean, why get involved then? Because it was obviously how I felt, or I wouldn't have agreed to it in the first place, would I? Now, Juventus are involved. Oh, we're not getting him, are we? Juventus are taking Larios. They don't need dessert as well. Let's offer him a little bit more again. Convince him to, to come here. Um, Larry, I think I am going to give him a parting comment, even though he's an idiot on his last game. Last game, that's very nice of you. Yeah, well, one of us is the bigger man here, Pablo. Come on now, dessert. Why are you going there? How much are they paying him? I bet they're not paying him anywhere near twenty grand a week. I hate being a small club. Thirteen grand. We were paying him so much more than that. And look how good he is. Oh, oh. Uh, we've signed this guy. Jordan Verdeccia to just be a reserve in two positions that we needed a little bit of cover for. Probably not really going to use him. I've got an itchy back now. This move is now hydrating me. That's how you're going to be. I'll go and get it myself. Alan, you need to hold things down while I go and get a drink. Behaved yourself, Alan. Hope so. Come on, you can come back over here. Oh, Van Shake at right back. What? Who? Where? Why? Where's... What's his face? Where's Raven? Am I being blind? Why can't I see him? Oh, he's there. He's not fully fit. That's why. Okay, I'll allow it then. Have I ever done a North American team? Yes. Multiple times. And then I guess there'll be a discussion about how revenue is shared. Those shirts are uh, streamer showdown property. I want it to be a shirt that people would happily wear in public. Not without feeling the need to explain who I am. It doesn't need my name on it. It doesn't need my face on it. It just needs to say do a football but in a nicely designed way. So it's just a shirt you could wear down the pub. And I want it to be a shirt that someone who's never heard of me would buy and wear. Yeah, QWERTY style. Absolutely. We've decided to just go all in on trying to get in the Champions League this year after three mid-table Premier League finishes. And it seems to have started quite well. We've just beaten Chelsea away from home. Eyes peeled for Frank Lampard's sacking because they might be bottom of the league after that. Dane Scarlett, Piggott and Bishop up top. I mean, none of them are Johnson Clark Harris, are they? He's a guaranteed 30 goals this season at this level. Then you've got Jack Marriott on the bench. That's how good we are. Jack Marriott on the bench. Why? Put it where it's supposed to be. What are you... you, you ha this goes right around there and you've just put it in the, in the thing. What are you talking about? It's just an iron. Wrap it. What do you mean wrap it? I don't know what you want me to do with wrap it. Wrap it, Kevin. I don't, I don't know what you want me to do with it. I have never wrapped an iron. When you when you got that, that was wrapped up. I didn't do that. No, I wrapped it up, but then you used wrap it. it. How? I don't know what you want me to oh, do with it. Turn around. Turn around, look. What do you mean? Look, this bit is thin. How you would I know it. to do that? Wrap it, Kevin. We've lived together more than 10 years and you have never asked me to do that. Ah, shoes. Put my shoe back. Are you going to wrap it? You just have, I don't need to. Thank you for that input, Anna. That was appreciated. Mm -hmm. That was Anna's comedy interlude. We just did a bit where she pretended to be angry about something dumb that no I one would get angry it. about. We beat Manchester United. We are genuinely in the Champions League mix, I think. That end doesn't look like it's any close to, closer to being finished. I don't know why I looked at my watch, but I'm pretty sure the stadium expansion is supposed to be finished by October. Unless they're planning to just unveil it last minute and take all the scaffolding down in one go. I'm a little bit concerned it doesn't look very close to being finished. 
That was close. Mm -hmm. Oh, Connor Howard. Is he in? Behave yourself. That was offside. Yeah, that does not look like it's going to be ready for October to me. Oh, what a goal. Tell you what, I questioned him a little bit when he turned up from Arsenal and wasn't as good as my scouts said he would be. That's his third goal of the season already. We're top of the Premier League and this is an absolute belter. Let's have a look at it from the other angle. Boom, first time, top corner. That'll do, boys and girls. Were there any change of plans for Kevin Chapman channel? Weekly videos on Tuesdays is the norm now. Yeah, that's not really a change of plan. That's That's been the case for about a month now. 2-0 up. Yeah, there's going to be travel videos on Tuesdays, and if I decide to make any other videos, they'll come out on other days. But yeah, I think we just... Uh, the plan was always, once Andy moved out, to become a travel vlog anyway on that channel. I think we've just pulled the... Pulled the uh, What do you pull? Pulled the switch? We've done, we've done that early because no one cared about any of the other content. Because from our point of view, we quite like being able to go back and watch the old videos and we can't at the moment because they're not there. We're 3-0 up over Manchester United. Hey, our stadium expansion is finished. Excellent. So we are now have... A t near 26,000 all-seater stadium. It's going to be very interesting in our next home game to see if they have just filled in the corners. So in that Norwich game, or if we now have a massive one end of the ground. I think we'll just have the corners filled in now. Even though that's not where we were building. <laughs> Vasilinov wins Young Player of the Month. Beautiful. I mean, even if Wilshere did win it, Wilshere's not an example of a uh, someone who won it and didn't end up being awesome. Wilshere would be England captain now if he hadn't have got injured. Repeatedly. Wilshere was probably the top talent of his generation. Certainly English talent. For selling off. All of Mascu and that and we we qualified straight into the group. It's not like we had to go through a playoff. I can understand if we had to go into a playoff. But uh, we finish third, we go straight into the group stage. So that's a guaranteed 12 million from the Champions League. I just want half of that to buy Omar and keep the rest of the team together. I think that's a, I think that's a discussion in real life. They go, yeah, that's fair enough. You only want half? That's fine. Take half. Go for it. Oh, what was I saying about Killer. Now it's all gone wrong. We're going to drop some encouragement, I think, to try and get a winner. Show me forward! How is that his sixth goal of the season? When has he been scoring goals? Is that counting his goals for the reserves? Because if so, that might explain how Adama Traore was showing us 14 goals last night. I'm certain Show me forward doesn't have six goals this season. I feel like I'd have noticed... Is showy forward still described as a showy forward? Excellent question. Should we go and investigate? Even if he's not, that's all he'll ever be to us. He is showy forward. No, he's just a boring old wonder kid now. That's a shame. I miss him being showy forward. I mean, he is still showing as having a full five stars of potential. Is he going to be homegrown at club? Yes. We've got a genuine wonder kid with that kind of value range with five stars of potential who's going to be five star, who's going to be homegrown potential, homegrown at our club. That's what I'm talking about. His real name is Showy Forward. Is it having a good season for assists? We actually got someone who's good at playing as an attacking midfielder. When have you ever seen an average rating like that out of an attacking midfielder? He must be taking the corners. There's no other way that he's picking up those kind of ratings. Oh, our youth facility's been upgraded. Yay! We now have excellent youth facilities. Exceptional academy coaching. Is there any chance we get a decent youth intake this coming year then? Because we've not had one yet. We are getting used to this winning football match things. Is that the guy we had at Schalke? Yeah! It's one of my Schalke teenagers. 
It's made it to Leicester. That's a beautiful thing. Earth One Volume 3. Interesting. I don't know that I realised there was a Volume 2. I have got Batman Earth One knocking around somewhere. I like the Earth One books. I think I've got both volume or two volumes of Wonder Woman. I don't know that I have more than one of any other of the Earth Ones. Oh, we can't lose. We've been in such good form and now Liverpool are getting involved at the top of the league. This is no good. That upsets me when this happens. Really upsets me. I think this is our first defeat of the season. Ooh and hiss. <laughs> yeah, that is our first defeat of the season in any competition. And now we've got to play Manchester United in the EFL Cup, then Manchester City in the Premier League. It could The wheels could be falling off by the end of the stream. And then we play Burnley. But we have to try and drag things back on course. If I could then just pre-record a load of like stereotypical football reactions and then I could just go to bed while Chris sits there pressing buttons as matches unfold, making certain things act out on screen, certain sentences that I've pre-recorded. This could work. That was never offside, by the way. That should count. Come on, referee. Give us the goal. He knows. He knew all along that that was never offside. I like Raven because we could have just put the youth team out because the fans don't care about this cup. We're more focused on winning the league. Let Manchester United go and win the cup. It's all they've got. Will I have time to play City today? No idea. We'll see what time it is after this match. There's Lima, the left winger we wanted in the summer before Manchester United stole him from us. This game has started hot. If the crowd is, is dispersed because they're having trouble getting into the ground for kickoff, they're going to have missed the entire match. I mean, that was an ambitious ball back to their goalkeeper. Seemed to leave him in a little bit of trouble. Look at Harrow charging out of defence. That's why Manchester City and PSG wanted him this summer. He's our backup centre-back. And he has just taken a step out of defence and set up an equaliser for us. That was beautiful from him. The answer to any is that current real player questions are likely to be no. What is going on? It's 3-2 after 14 minutes. This is like being 1-0 down on FIFA with 10 minutes to go. Just knocking the ball around the defenders and making us chase. Oh, for goodness sake. We need to sign him or break him. He always scores against us. I have Diego Enrique on Earth 1. Maybe? The name sounds familiar. That's their goalkeeper. Who would I have had him for? Norwich, maybe? Referee, get your finger out your ear. That obviously counts. It was onside with bells on. In answer to the question about playing the City game today, no, because this game is mental. No, I'm not going to clash at the castle because tickets were crazy expensive. And at the time, I thought Vince McMahon was going to be booking it. So, I mean, are there tickets still available? I am much more tempted now Triple H is in charge. I actually feel like Drew McIntyre might win the title there now. Which would be awesome. Right, boys and girls, we are going to wrap things up there because we've lost two games in a row. It's all gone wrong. Everything was going so well. Now it's all gone wrong and I need to go and have a little cry.